everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace and I am the CEO of Rebecca Grace Designs and today we're going to talk about the number one reason that your Squarespace plugin isn't working and what to do about it. So when we're writing plugins, it's usually because we want to add some sort of effect or functionality to the site. And to do that, we use a coding language called JavaScript and this adds functionality and action to your site. When doing this, there's a library that we like to use called jQuery because it can make writing the code a lot simpler. The problem is, if you have added multiple versions of this library onto your site, it's probably going to, one, slow down your site, and two, could cause the two plugins to clash against each other. So if you are finding that you have a plugin on your site, it's working great, you go to add a second plugin and all of a sudden it breaks the first or the second one's not working. Um, it could be because of this. So the first thing you want to do is go into settings, advanced, code injection. And this is the most common place that you'll find JavaScript on your site. It's not the only place. If you've add, added um, this code into a code block or into the pages code injection, you'll want to check there as well. But what you're looking for is a line of code that looks something like this. In it, you'll see the words jQuery slash and then some numbers. These are different versions or updates of the jQuery library. And you can see if I actually open this library up, you can see how much code you're actually adding with that one line. So you can imagine if you are adding multiple lines of this jQuery library and how much code you're actually adding to your site. Okay. If you have more than one of these, like I've shown here, this means that I'm uploading two different versions of the jQuery library. This one would be an old uh, update or an old version, and this would be an updated version. And so if one of your plugins relies on this older version and one of your plugins relies on the newer version, it's not gonna know which version to use and it's gonna cause it to break. So the very first thing I would do is to actually remove one of these lines, preferably the older version, to see if your plugins work with the newer version of jQuery. The easiest way to do that is to actually comment or gray it out, um, just so that if it's not working, you're not deleting code that then you're then going to need. So what you can do is put a, a triangle bracket exclamation point dash dash and at the end of the line do dash dash closing triangle bracket and you'll see that that line is now grayed out and so it's turning that code off. So I'd first turn off the older version of jQuery and see if your plugins work. If they don't I would then do it with your other line of code. So turn your the older version back on and the newer version of jQuery off and see then if your plugins both work. If not, if it's kind of one's working with one and one's working with the other, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, my first suggestion would be to go back to the developers of that plugin, especially the one that's using the older version of jQuery and see if they have an update for you. If not, and you're okay with working with code, then you can use a conflict code or code that um, helps the jQuery's use both without conflict. So to do that, between your two jQuery lines, you'll wanna put them beside each other and then add in this extra line of code that says the jQuery, in this case, 132, I want no conflict true. And then you're gonna wrap any of the uh, script that for that plugin in a no conflict code, which looks like this. So you can see that this would be um, the line of code that for instance uses an image slider and I want it to use the um, earlier version of jQuery and so I'm going to wrap it in this function and say to use the jQuery 132 version. So it will know to use the older version for anything that's wrapped in this code and the newer version for anything that is not. Um, so again, your first step is to try removing one of the libraries to see if both plugins can work on one of the libraries. Your second step is to go back to the developer um, of the 
older version and see if they have an updated version for you. And finally, you can add this no conflict code in to use both scripts on your site. I don't recommend this um, normally because again, you're now loading two jQuery libraries, which is a lot of code for your site and could slow things down and cause other conflicts. Um, so hopefully that helps you solve why your plugin is not working. If you liked this video, um, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on my blog, then sign up for the freebie in my footer so that you can be notified when I post other tutorials.